ASAP Rocky is dropping his new album Don't Be Dumb in only 10 days next Friday and hopefully over the next 10 days we'll get daily info, new info on this album and I can hopefully make videos and all of that. So today before this hot phase of the rollout starts I wanted to go over why I believe that Don't Be Dumb will be Rocky's best album in his entire discography, so let's jump straight into this. If you want to stay up to date with everything surrounding hip-hop, make sure to subscribe and also become a part of this community by joining our Discord server in the description. Now, obviously, Rocky has a pretty good discography. From the first mixtape over his three albums, also considering the cozy tapes, he's really one of those artists that fans consider all of his albums to be pretty good and we've waited six years for this new album ever since testing which was maybe his most discussed album in terms of quality or whether it was actually good for some it was too experimental others loved that that he was taking some steps forward and this is all leading into this new album now don't be dumb and this is obviously a long wait six years and i mean this just goes to show that asap rocky like a kendrick lamar like a travis scott is one of those artists that can go this long period of time this hiatus and still come back and have this immense of a hype i mean you can tell me if that's not the case with you but for me i'm pretty hyped for this record and i see a lot of people talking about it online and that just goes to show that all of his past stuff was pretty good the quality was very high the consistency of the quality was very high that he can now continue pushing forward with this as well. Now, what I hope for on this new record is a mix of an older Rocky sound where we've had more of the cloud rap, but also hard hitting braggadocious stuff. And then also the testing experimental version where we've had some of those experimental in some way psychedelic but different from the psychedelic stuff he did before kind of those vibes and I, I do think that this new album can really embody that perfectly if we take a look at the singles dmb is that newer experimental psychedelic sound we do have with hijack or shit and me or riot though some of those hard-hitting songs some of those braggadocious bars that rocky is known for and if he can bring that combo on this new album then i believe this could be the perfect symbiosis of those two eras if you want to call it that of rocky that then come together in this new album which will hopefully then have that you know kind of peak in his quality of music also we have to talk about the interview that he did with apple music and zane low that i discussed in detail in another video so make sure you go check out the playlist for my asap rocky don't be dumb coverage but in that interview he said that there won't be any leaks or snippets on this new album so all of y'all that were hoping for taylor swift or give him help those those will not be on the record he said that he might play those at festivals or concerts but those are not going to be on the record and that just goes to show you that he has a really tight quality control on this new record because he doesn't want anything to be spoiled and he wants it to come out the way that he wants people to actually experience the rollout rocky's always been very careful with this when it comes to his creative creations and how people should experience them and i think that that level of quality control is a good measure as to how good this album will actually be we also can't forget the accompanying arc american sabotage fashion project that he's doing alongside this album and actually this has been very closely connected to the album because i mean he had a runway show at paris fashion week earlier this year which was really big for him his first also there was a new song being played that was that's going to be on don't be dumb so the two are very closely connected he's also recently dropped another trailer for american sabotage that then also goes over into don't be dumb he talks about his political and societal critique that he wants to attack with this term of american sabotage he talks about racism foreign policy even obesity so that's going to be interesting to see how that is inspired by all of that but the two go hand in hand and i mean if you have a fashion project accompanying the music that you're doing that means you have some sort of cohesive vision that you want to portray and that usually results in some great music not just for rocky but usually in everybody that has this sort of big of a mission that they're on and i mean look at just the obvious facts surrounding this he's in a pretty cool state of his life right now he's married to rihanna he has two children at this point with her he has you know a lot of time to work on this music and he has been we've gotten hints of him working on new music while being on this road trip with rihanna more than three years ago so he's really had a lot of time to perfect this maybe also 
you know, really enjoy the status that he has as being one of the top, I don't know what top, but one of the top rappers right now. And then he can actually take some time. He doesn't have to prove anything to anyone. And, uh, you know, when you consider the rollouts of his past albums, y'all know the myth, y'all know kind of the superstitious notion that every time ASAP Rocky drops an album, one of the people close to him dies. Hopefully this won't be the case this time, but I do think that if you have a Rihanna in the house and you're just kind of bouncing creative ideas back and forth, you're in a pretty good spot where it's not as rough as maybe the last couple of rollouts have been, and hopefully that can translate into the music and into the quality of this album as well. Now, the title is still a bit confusing to me. I mean, in the interview with Zayn Lowe, he said it's self-explanatory, don't be dumb, kind of as an imperative to people. Just don't be dumb. I mean, that's pretty obvious. Maybe it's meant in that political, societal way where he wants to say, okay, we have all these problems going on that I listed earlier that he's talking about in the trailer. Just don't be dumb when attacking them. Don't be dumb when, you know, kind of talking about them, voting for them. I don't know what he's getting at with the title. So let me know your interpretations of the title. It's it's still pretty mysterious to me. If it's really just that superficial, just that surface level, just don't be dumb or, you know, what he's trying to do with it. Let me know your interpretations of that as well. Also, I did want to mention, there's a video for Hijack dropping any second now. He's been pretty adamant about, you know, kind of teasing this. I mean, he dropped the trailer a couple of weeks ago that it already went over, but since then, starting four days ago, he's dropped a little teaser every day that is teasing at the music video. It's looking pretty cool with these holographic images of Paris and the Louvre and all of that going on, so I'm excited for the music video for Hijack. ASAP Rocky music videos are always something very special. And if we're getting a high effort, high budget music video, like the teasers are hinting at just for the single hijack, then I'm very much excited for what's to come on the actual album. In terms of music videos accompanying the music, that is always a highlight for me. I mean, the, the videos for testing were amazing as well. For long last ASAP as well. I mean, everything has been. I mean, it's just the, that that is one of the things I would say Rocky probably has some of the best videos in, in hip hop, just period. I mean, that's always something he's been known for. There's always something he had not, he had an eye on. So that's, that's really something that I'm looking forward to. And hopefully this new hijack video can already set the first step for that. So that's the reasons why I believe that this will be one of his best records and this won't be a fall off or whatever, because I think all the puzzle pieces are coming together pretty neatly when it comes to this record dropping in 10 days. I'll keep you updated if anything more happens, so make sure you stay subscribed, and also let me know if you think this will be his best record, and what your hopes and expectations for this album are. Let me know all your thoughts on this in the comments down below. If you watched this video to the end and liked it, and you want to stay up to date with all current hip-hop events and releases, make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, hit that like button, and go follow my social media, and most importantly, join my Discord in the description. Until the next one, you'll have an incredible day, and y'all take care.